Cynthia Lummis, Republican of Wyoming, writes an op-ed piece in Investor's Business Daily, quote, These staggering numbers are leaving Americans feeling exasperated and angry. If they have to pay more attention to what they spend and how they spend it, why isn't their government doing the same? Joining us now for a Fox Business exclusive is Representative Cynthia Lummis, who is also a member of the House Budget Committee. Welcome, Congresswoman. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you for inviting me to be here. Well, of course. So, so on top of all of this, now Timothy Geithner, the Treasury Secretary, is saying let's give about $100 billion to the International Monetary Fund because this is a global recession. You don't like that, do you? I don't because uh, the IMF itself was asking for only $200 billion, $250 billion worldwide. Uh, they had $50 billion already in their account that was unspoken for. Uh, so this is getting more than the IMF itself asked for. And furthermore, uh, the notion of distributing that money on a quick turnaround, 48 to 72 hours, without adequate vetting of creditworthiness, uh, is part of the problem that America has experienced over the last few months with the TARP. Uh, I hate to see us go down that road again. Okay, I get all of that, but y y I want you to hear what the head of News Corp, Rupert Murdoch, just said yesterday at the National Cable Television Association event, where he specifically talked about Congress and money, but he also warned of something called protectionism. Let's first listen in and I'll have you comment. I, I just don't see how we can borrow enough money to meet these deficits they're talking about, uh, we'll have to print. And that just gives me an awkward feeling. And as the unemployment rises, how are you going to stop this Congress from being protectionist? The P word, Representative Lummis. I, I, I wonder if when we start to hear people like you saying, well, we can't give to, to the IMF and, and we worry about helping other countries, it, it really sounds logical. I get it. But some people will say that's starting to turn protectionist. And that could be the worst possible thing for this recession. Could it not? Yes, you're right. Protectionism is uh, a very bad thing, not the goal, and certainly not the uh, impetus of my comments. My comments are based on giving the IMF more money than it itself asked for and then distributing it in such a manner that does not look at the creditworthiness of the borrower adequately. Uh, we should be learning the lessons uh, of the last few months and applying them everywhere in our own house here in the United States as well as the way we respond to requests abroad. And recall that this request abroad was only for 250 billion, not the trillion dollars that was eventually awarded. There is a notion of fiscal responsibility and fiscal restraint in all of this that does not equate to protectionism, which would be a very bad consequence. Yeah, we know people expand to what they have, and if you gave them more, they'd use it. So clearly they asked for a certain amount, and it appears that Treasury Geithner said, well, here, take a little bit more. Not the time to be doing that. But overall, let's talk about the TARP. Do you believe, and, and step outside of all of the the, the political screaming and yelling out there, is any of it starting to work? Can you be objective about that? I believe some of it is starting to work. The part of the TARP that I had problems with included the fact that uh, changes were made to the TARP in the stimulus package uh, that we didn't have a chance to even read before we voted on it. Uh, furthermore, some very positive things are happening with the TARP, such as the opportunity for some banks who choose to pay back TARP funds early being able to do so. Originally, they were not going to have that opportunity. So some of the really advantageous things uh, in the TARP are beginning to occur. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm glad to hear that because we, we try and get some things out of both sides of the aisle because it's important for people to hear that it isn't all Republicans bashing Democrats or Democrats bashing Republicans on this stage here. And that's what we're the, the message we're trying to send. We'd love for you to come back once again, Ms. Loomis. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's appreciate the opportunity. Of course, Representative Cynthia Lummis is also a member of the House Budget Committee, so she's been watching all of this. She's a Republican from Wyoming. Is the bailout era coming to an end? Both.